Hey guys, so welcome back to the second part of my PSA returns. So let's get straight into it. Um, this pile, oops, uh, just more EXs. <laughs> so yeah, I think I've got my PSA 9s on the top. Um, same again, I'll be selling these as they are. No point resending these um, to get a 10. Uh, so first off we've got Mirage Forest Dust Ox, first edition, PSA 9. Um, a Moldo first edition, PSA 9. I'll probably put these on auction, the PSA 9s, and then just go whatever I can for them. Um, next up we've got a Magnetric EX PSA 9. First edition. A first edition Crobat from Clash of the Blue Skies, PSA 9. I think that's it for the PSA 9s. I uh, got four there. Uh, we've got a expansion pack, Unlimited Sneasel, PSA 10. Uh, Rulers of the Heaven Requiser, PSA 10, first edition. Pretty awesome looking card. And Unlimited Electables, PSA 10 from Expansion Pack. I'm not sure why they call the first, um, all the first sets um, Expansion Pack. Um, they could easily just give it a name, um, but there you go. A War Rain from Mirage Forest, first edition, PSA 10. <coughs> Another Amaldo, this time it's a PSA 10. An Unlimited Crobat EX, a PSA 10. Um, Deoxys EX, uh, I think it's in the defense form, um, PSA 10 first edition. And the final card of this pile is a uh, Harry Armor first edition, and it's a PSA 10. So next up uh, we've got the gold stars, um, so first card is a Mew 1st edition, you got a near mint mint 8, um, I reckon a PSA 9 would have been a better grade, um, as you can see the centering is off, um, it's got much thicker borders here than the right and the top, and also there is a little nick if I can get it on that top corner it's like a bend right at the edge um, it's got some dirt inside the case by the looks of it as well oh well right at that top corner and there we go you can probably see it now but um Apart from that, it was pretty good. Um, uh, so, I'm not sure if it's worth resending. I've actually got another PSA, um, not PSA, I've got another first edition Mew um, in my drawer. Um, I forgot to take it out for the video. Um, but, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that one. Um, Next up we've got two PSA 9 Gold Star Gyaradoses, first editions. Same again, these were mint. Um, they have nothing wrong with them whatsoever. So I'm going to do a, a bit of research, see why PSA 9 sells and why PSA 10 would go for. And if it's worth a regrading fee, um, I might get them regraded. The centering isn't too bad either, so... Um, 
not sure what the problem was. Here we've got a first edition Latias Gold Star. It had a bit of whitening on the back corner. So um, that was the main reason it got a PSA 9. Um, I've seen worse get 10s but oh well um, I'll sell this as it is. Uh, this card won't be for sale. Um, I'll definitely be resending this. It's first edition Suicune. Um, it got a PSA 9. Not sure why. Um, centering's pretty good. And um, did it have any major whitening on the back? So this one won't be up for sale. I'm going to resend that one. Um, next up, we have two PSA 10. First edition Entes. Uh, pretty happy with those. Um, they deserve the grades. Uh, so those will be for sale. Uh, these were strange. Um, got two PSA 10 Pikachu's. Um, one did deserve. Let me check which one. This one did definitely deserve a PSA 10. It had no whitening whatsoever. Not sure how well it shows on camera, but didn't have in, uh, any whitening. But this one, it had quite a lot of whitening on the top edge and on the side. So I was pretty surprised this one got a 10. But I'll probably just list that up for auction and get whatever I can for it. Same goes for the other one. Next up we have a first edition Mudkip PSA 10. These gold stars are all from that massive lot I bought a couple of weeks back. So pretty happy with all the grades. Uh, we've got a first edition Kyogre PSA 10. Got a Reggie Ice PSA 10 first edition. A Reggie Rock PSA 10 first edition. And finally we have a Celebi first edition in PSA 10. So pretty happy with all, uh, well fairly happy with all the grades from that pile. And there were a couple uh, disappointments would have loved that Suicune to be a 10 so from this pile um, not all the cards are for sale but um, they're going to be expensive uh, majority of the cards are the expensive ones that are for sale so first off we have a first edition Black Curium EX from Freeze Bolt in PSA 10 this one is not for sale um, it's probably one of my favourite Full arts, so this one's going into the collection. Next up, we have a Plasma Gale um, Unlimited Lugia, which got a PSA 10. Pretty happy with that one. Um, I sent this one up for my collection. It's a uh, Mewtwo Rockets Mewtwo First Edition PSA 10. I actually pulled this card. Um, I've just noticed there is a dent on that top corner, just as one of the other cards did. Um, so I'm not sure what's happening with that one. Um, but either way, um, I'll probably end up keeping it or might sell it and get another copy. Um, next up we have the Hollow version, Rockets Raikou EX. And got a PSA 10. It's one of my favourite EX cards. Always wanted one. Um, so last month I finally ended up, ended up getting one. I uh, was pretty happy with the condition. So I ended up grading it. Uh, next up we have a Unlimited Zoroark 
you are from uh, Dark Rush, um, no, Cycle Drive, it got a PSA 10, same again, this one's going into the collection, trying to get all the old um, styled black and white ultra raising unlimited and probably PSA 10, so hopefully I can get that completed fairly soon. Um, next up we have a Espion EX PSA 10. This is unlimited. Um, I actually had a, in this same submission, um, a first edition Espion and a first edition Umbreon. Both great PSA 10s. But um, after I posted um, my results on Instagram, um, I got two offers for those cards um, which I accepted. So those sold before I made this video. Um, so yeah, um, I've got my PSA submission ready, um, I've got another Espion and Umbreon in that, both in first edition, so hopefully I'll get another 10 copies and those will probably stay in my collection as I will be going for a Golden Sky Silvery Ocean PSA 10 set, as I've got the PSA 10s on both of these beauty cards. Um, I've always always wanted these in PSA 10 um, so when I got that massive lot a couple of weeks ago and saw the mint cards I knew I was going to get some 10s uh, when I sent them in I uh, was super happy when I saw the results here's the ho ho check that out and as you can see from my background, um, I bought another new binder. Not sure if I mentioned it in the first video, but you've probably seen it by now. So these two cards do go well with that folder now. Um, here's a Lugia. It's so hard finding these in um, mint condition. So I was over the moon when I saw these. These won't be going anywhere anytime soon that's for sure and the next three cards are even better it's the flight of legends uh, legendary birds all in PSA 10 and sequential um, numbering all five birds um, are numbered uh, one after the other so that's pretty cool as well uh, put these in. so first up we've got the Zapdos Check that out. Same again, I was super happy when I saw these cards um, in mint condition from that lot. And I knew I was definitely going to end up getting some tens. Here we've got the Articuno. I actually owned this card um, a few years ago. Uh, that's when I found out about... Um, these birds from Flight of Legends um, and after that I've been hunting them down and um, trying to find mint copies on and off and I've finally got my PSA 10 copies now love this extra glossiness to it it's got a full glossy um, effect all over the card and finally we've got first edition Moltres PSA 10 So, uh, these five definitely won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but I've got a couple other copies that I might end up sending to PSA. To, uh, so, if those get tens, those will be up for sale. Um, next up, we've got PSA 9 um, Charizard Gold Star First Edition. If I can get the First Edition stuff. There we go. Um. I'm not sure, uh, it did have some whitening on that top border as you can see right there but apart from that it was pretty good um, the only thing uh, I can think of is that bottom border is a bit bigger than that top one um, the side ones are 
near enough the same it's just that bottom border it's bigger than that one um, I'm definitely going to give it another shot as it's probably worth the $20 for that 5 day turnaround if it does bump up to a 10 so um, this one will be going back to PSA on Monday and to cap off all the PSA cards uh, we've got a first edition Requaza Gold Star in PSA 10 this one was the main card from that massive lot that I got um, I paid under $800 for that lot and you've seen what cards I got from that massive auction and this is the best card by far um, I saw this sold on eBay and um, eBirdman sold one for I think $16.50 or $17.50 just the requires on its own so um pretty pretty happy with that purchase now seeing that this got a PSA 10 so yeah um that's it for the PSA returns um I'll probably do a PSA uh, submission video on on probably Saturday or Sunday I'm waiting on a couple more cards that will arrive on Friday so um, once those are in um, I'll probably start doing my submission and then I'll do a recording for that so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed all my grades um, and once again if you are interested in any of the cards that I've shown um, that are for sale just drop me a message on eBay, YouTube, um, Instagram, whatever, um, and I'll get back to you. So, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching.